guilty, then a little secret meeting isn't going to make any difference. If she's smart, she'll take whatever deal my husband offered her. Can I ask you a question, Madison? What deal did he cut with you to get you to marry him? No deal at all. He married for love. I know he did. Love of power, money, what do you get out of it? Besides being ignored. My husband is a very busy man. Yeah. He's busy paying attention to my wife. Take the deal or don't, Mrs. Slater. Either way, you're going to prison. And I look forward to that day. I don't hear you denying that you'd like to put your wife away. Did I hit a nerve? This is about one thing and one thing only. A man is dead, Mrs. Slater. You killed him. Once you're locked up for life, then justice will be served. I'd love to have dinner with you and Annie. I assume I can bring a date. No, I uh, assume you were going to trot out your trusty lapdog, Jackson. Jackson is hardly a lapdog. <laughs> but actually, I do have someone else in mind. Somebody very entertaining in mind. A new beau? No, just a friend. I mean, I'll have to check with him, of course, but I'm sure he wouldn't miss this for the world. Does your friend have a name? Ryan Lavery. <laughs> Did I say something funny? <laughs> oh, my God's sakes, woman. I know... I know you have uh, thrive on competition, but uh, this is extreme, even for you. For you. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Well, um, you and your daughter, um, Kendall, are going to be sparring for the same man. That, that gives a whole new meaning to keeping it in the family. <laughs> okay, let's get one thing straight. I've never had to spar for any man's attention. Yes, I admit that's true. But, um, poor sap. <laughs> he, has, he has no idea what he's getting into. <laughs> you can throw all the money, all the power, all the cons you want at me. There is no chance you'll get my daughter. I wasn't going to use it. Why not? I mean, it worked with Richie, right? And it ain't broke. I'm not the same person I was before, Ryan. Why can't you understand that? I've changed. Stop. The only thing that's changed with you is your obsession. It started with me, and then it went to Aiden, and then Adam. You're wrong. I didn't think it was possible, but I finally have it back. What, Annie, what? What do you have back? The same thing you just lost, Ryan. Control. Hey. Hey. How you feeling? No sensation, no movement. Give it time, sweetie. Mm. Mm. Never have been one for much patience, have you? And you're a doctor, an excellent one, I might add. And you know it's going to take a while before the medication wears off. And you haven't had physical therapy yet. I know, Mom. But... You will have the use of your hands, Frankie, I promise. Dr. Hubbard? Yes. You're needed for a consult in 314. Mm -hmm. And those labs you were waiting for, they've just right. come in. Thank you. I'll be right there. If you're busy, you should go to work. Well, I'm going to ignore that bit of sarcasm from my son, okay? And, you know, it has been crazy around here, so you get all the rest that you can because you'll be back working these halls before you know it. Mm -hmm. I love you. Can't be easy. Ambitious husband, high-profile job, must make for a lonely marriage. Hmm. As opposed to the love fest that you have with your wife? I do know the reason why you remarried, so you can drop the pretense. Fair enough. 
You don't know anything about me or my life. I know you don't walk away when you should. I've been guilty of that myself. You need the table. I'm happy to leave. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to go? An empty house? I have plenty to keep myself occupied at home. You shouldn't be alone with your thoughts right now. Cut the deck. Justice? That's what you'd call ripping an innocent mother away from her children? You wanted to talk. You begged me to come over. So what do I do? I show up in good faith expecting to cut some sort of deal, and instead you attempt to bribe me. What's the difference between a bribe and a deal? I'm a busy man, Mrs. Slater. I don't enjoy having my time wasted. Okay, well, I'm so sorry if I'm boring you, but this is my life we're talking about. I will not confess to a crime I didn't commit. Your husband did. He was willing to spend the rest of his life behind bars when he had no business being there. Now, why would he do that? To protect you. Because he knew the truth. You pulled that trigger and lodged a bullet in a man's back. No, I did not fire that gun. That's interesting, considering your prints are all over the murder weapon, not to mention the numerous witnesses who can place you at the scene of the crime. Okay, the entire town was at the mansion that night. So the entire town wasn't holding the murder weapon. You're gonna need a lot more than theories to convince the jury. <laughs> Sadly, most jurors don't even understand the concept of reasonable doubt. No, they see what I tell them to see. And that's you on the Chandler Terrace with a smoking gun. The very same gun that killed Stuart Chandler. Get out of my house now. Yeah, that should just about do it, shouldn't it? What? Oh, this isn't some last ditch effort to try to get me to drop the charges. No, this is just you buying time. Time for what? For your husband to work my wife? Word of caution, Mrs. Slater? I'm not someone you want to mess with. I'll see you in court. Paranoia is a powerful thing, Ryan. It really messed with my head. It drove me insane. Really? Because that's really weird. I, I thought I remembered you telling me that Richie did that. I did whatever my emotions told me to do. And because of that, I made some some terrible mistakes. But I'm healthy now. Yeah. You're healthy and, and, and in control. It took many months of therapy, but I made it. I'm really, I'm really me again. Hey, maybe you should talk to somebody. I'm sorry. About all this anger you're holding on to. You have to be careful, Ryan. If you don't deal with it, you could end up... Just like you. I would just hate for Emma to lose another parent. That's not gonna happen. Trust me. And you're doing a good job here. This is, this is great. Great act. But you and I both know that you can't keep it up, Annie. You can't. And when you drop that act, I'll be there. This is fascinating. <laughs> Have you told Kendall? Told her what? <laughs> Ryan and I are just friends. There's no need for you to be jealous, Adam. Oh, I have no time to worry about you and your dalliances. Oh, Adam, you always worry about me and my dalliances. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Speaking of which, you should probably run home and uh, warn your latest dalliance, the former Mrs. Lavery, that you're having dinner guests tonight. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Well, just do me a favor and tell Lucretia not to serve anything that requires knives, because we all know how possessive Annie can be, especially of Ryan. Yes, well, she is sane, completely sane. And if you prefer to invite somebody else... Oh, no. Ryan and I'll be there. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, let the fun begin. I'm counting on it.